of some reason and i was again scared so i am waiting of my own plan so now i need to do something so i decided that uh, i will uh, and one more aya which came again in uh, while i was reading was uh, you know when death approaches these people angels will come and ask them what state you are in and they will reply we were weak and oppressed in this world and angels will reply was allah's land was not vast enough for you to emigrate and follow islam so i was like yes this is talking to me because i was the one who was convincing all the time myself i am weak i am weak i am weak so i was very scared and you know shocked and i don't know what to do and uh, i thought okay now i need to uh, read it and i need to become a proper muslim and tell everybody that i am muslim like those who are doing in their shop but again something was uh, you know doubtful in me was the akhirah you know the day of judgment the time and again allah talks about you know there is a day of judgment day of judgment i still you know had this doubt and i checked you know what is the concept of day of judgment in hinduism hinduism is basically if you do a bad thing you will become a pig you will become a dog you will become an insect whatever and if you have done a good thing you will be reborn again as a human as islam says if you die with the good deeds and if you please allah you will go to heaven otherwise to hell there is nothing in between so now i thought logically even if i you know if i hate an animal which is dog now i want to know how i should not become a dog because i hate that animal and i don't want to do any such sin that i want to you know i will be punished as go become a dog so there should be some way of communicating to that dog to know what was the previous sin this dog has done so that it is getting this problem now well i when i see dog is enjoying it's going in mercedes benz it is going in all the parks so there is no justice where islam says you know it has hell or heaven and it makes sense to me now so i said okay this is what akira but still how can i believe in akira how can i perceive it but i was a science student you know eighth standard uh, ninth standard science i've read where it says how the earth is created what is the earth crust and what is below the earth there is entire chapter on this for this kilometer it is this if you go this kilometer there will be water then the fire so i was like you know is it not this the hell is it not this the hell just below the earth yeah it's easy for me to believe and uh, uh, for uh, heaven i see nice gardens everywhere so you know it's not difficult or it's not you know it's easy for me to believe allah can create heavens just like that and allah keeps saying in the quran that when i have to do anything when i have to say anything i have to create anything i say just be and it will be and uh, another thing which was always hindering me was how can i believe the concept that i will be reborn again and uh, then i will be judged based on my deeds how can i be reborn uh, you know allah says in surah bakara that you are lifeless how can you disbelieve in allah when you are lifeless we gave you life and we will cause you to die again and we will cause you to life again and it's not uh, difficult for us so yes it is uh, indeed very easy for me to believe because i am 17 years old now 17 years back i was lifeless and when i was one year kid i didn't even know what is islam what is hinduism i didn't even know anything about this world i had food i i grew myself and now i can see myself strong so over a period of time allah has uh, you know given me this uh, strongness and uh, now how can i disbelief and there's another ayah in surah bakara which says when we give kuwa to the man he becomes strong he was weak when we give kuwa to him he became strong and he start becoming arrogant and he questions is god there so it was so true that when i was a kid i never questioned this and when i was in first standard i never questioned seven never tenth never now that i am thinking that i am strong i am this i am questioning is god there really so this is what its quran is talking about is god there really this is what they question when they are strong enough because now i started thinking that my smartness is more important to me than the god so i was like okay now i can i can believe in akira so i believed in akira and uh, the another thing which uh, another ayah which changed me and this helped me to do dawa to my parents was that uh, are they waiting for you know when they approach the death angels will come and ask them what state you are in and they will say we were weak and oppressed so all, you know angels will reply that allah's land was not vast enough for you to emigrate and follow islam and uh, it's true i am saying i am weak i am weak now i should take a step ahead 
because now i have uh, discussed with my parents with my friends with my family is about vedas about hinduism christianity and it's true they always said that okay hinduism we are just doing it because our forefathers are doing it and uh, allah says in quran that uh, when children of israel you know accept this book which is confirming what was there before to you don't uh, conceal the truth you know don't uh, conceal the truth don't hide the truth and when i compared myself with uh, what i was yes we i as a brahmin you know i am concealing the truth from the rest of the non brahmins like my forefathers who were well versed in vedas it's written in our vedas that you cannot worship an idol there is nothing called idol worship idol worship is forbidden but we still do it because uh, forefathers are doing it and non brahmins they really don't have knowledge or whatever because uh, and when i read the history before the independence you know brahmins used to dominate and uh, when a non brahmin used to hear veda the molten iron was put into ears so i used to think is it what allah is saying that you are concealing the truth a brahmin said the truth which is vedas and uh, i used to ask is vedas our book uh, yes my parents used to say it's our book but do you know anything about it i don't know anything about it my father my grandfather but my few uncles knew about it and when i convinced when this ayat when i read i openly started discussing in home uh, about islam because my younger sister saw me doing salah you know uh, now i had to establish prayer now when i am doing a prayer everywhere in my house everywhere this 360 degree all the side you take a turn there are photos now when i am doing the prayer i am scared whether i am worshiping uh, the one true god or i am worshiping this so now i used to recite my surah so loudly so that you know outside can it can be heard so i used to put music and i used to recite loudly so that you know i i my faith remains strong enough that alhamdulillah rabbil alamin all praise to god who is the creator of this world so here in this verse i am not saying i am worshiping muslim god and uh, ar rahman ar rahim the most gracious the most merciful yes because uh, god should be you know gracious and the merciful and maliki yawmiddin the day of the you know owner of the day of judgment who will judge my deeds and ya kana abudu ya kana i am seeking your help and uh, i want to worship you only and uh, guide me to the light you know sirat al lazina anhamta alaihim on those who have pleased you and not on those who have angered you or who have uh, gone astray and it's true you know when i used to recite gayatri mantra om bhur bhur swaha tat sarvitur varanyam bhargo deva siddhi mai dio yuna prachodayat in this entire mantra you did not hear shiva's name brahma's name or anybody's name so when i check this translation you know it says uh, i really do not uh, remember word to word but the gist of it guide me to the light guide me to the light guide me to the light and same thing allah says in quran sirat al mustaqim and uh, time and again quran says that islam is not something uh, you know uh, it was there from the beginning we this religion was one religion it was not divided but human beings got divided themselves if i wanted to create everybody as one umma i would have created but i do what i wish and then when i check the history i saw one movie called 10 commandments musa alai salam you know and when i saw his uh, entire movie which is based on the torah it's the same that he is also talking about tawhid and when i saw bible you know this the serial used to come bible and in all entire episode of bible isa alai salam is was always saying worship my father worship my father he never said i am god but out of my feeling you know even in uh, kannada we say uh, you know namappa nine kaapadbeku we say sort of the feeling so does that does not mean literally that he is my father so you know it's relative everything is relating that the islam is not something new it just that you know i started hating muslim because uh, you know their actions their uh, their way of living i used to hate it you know apart from that religion is pure enough so now i started confronting at home telling my parents my uncle they said whatever you're saying is right but we cannot do this now because uh, if i you know i have i have to fear society i am a brahmin i cannot openly say even in in our books it is there um, you do what you want to do we'll do what we want to do we have no problems so i embrace the threw me out of the house and then uh, i was uh, working somewhere uh, in pinya as a mechanical engineer because i wanted to become highly qualified and these ayas you know allah had a different plan so i had to leave the house when i had uh, been pushed either you follow this or this so i left the house and uh, i was working as a mechanical engineer i could not do continue that work because uh, 
it was giving me hard time with my salah because i was working in shifts now how can i engage myself in a work